As surely as the sun rises in the morning, the Brazilian Grand Prix packs out the grandstands and creates incredible drama. Title deciders, heartbreak, triumph and home glory. All these and more can be found in abundance here at the Autodromo Jose Carlos Pache. It's an unusual anti-clockwise race here at Interlagos where the Sao Paulo locals are packed into the grandstands at each of the 15 corners around this classic 2.7 mile circuit. Two very fast sections bookend the famous and highly technical sector two. We're getting a good run out of Jun Sao into one of the two DRS zones will be the key to any overtaking prospects today. Anthony Davidson joins me again for the race today. Now, I want to ask you about Lewis Hamilton. What a season they've had. A well-deserved championship victory and the pressure now surely off with the title already in the bag. I agree it's been a truly impressive season, but championship or no, I don't think they'll be gently cruising around to the finish line. In fact, with points no longer a concern, there's a lot less to risk, so we may even see a more aggressive approach. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks for today's race. Good job yesterday from Valtteri Bottas. The fin starts from pole position, and it's Lewis Hamilton alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Leclerc, Vettel, Pierre Gasly, and Albon, Ricardo, Sainz, Verstappen, and Daniel Kvyat, Norris, Hülkenberg, Kimi Räikkönen, and Perez, Russell, Magnussen, Lance Stroll and Robert Kubica, Giovinazzi and Blue. Now it's almost time to lights out, so let's go down to the track. Keep your eyes open on the run to turn one and keep it clean. We want to come out in one piece. Good luck.
please stay clear of the white line on the exit. I receive a penalty for dangerous driving if you cross over into the track. Mercedes have pulled off a great victory here today. Tell me, Ant, how did they manage to achieve this win? I think a large part of the result comes down to temperament. They were able to keep their heads when everyone around them was losing theirs, and that's allowed them to get the best out of the car, to maximise the strategy, and to stay out of trouble. So after a magnificent race, we can now see the drivers making their way to the podium. Once again, it's the Silver Arrows who take top spot, a well-earned victory for Mercedes.
Now, let's discuss, Ants. Who would you say is a contender for driver of the day? I have to give it to Blue. That was a commanding performance today. Very impressive indeed. The Constructors' Championship may be a foregone conclusion at the moment, but regardless, let's look at the standings. It's another clear win for Mercedes as they manage to secure the Constructors' title. An incredible performance for the whole team. Meanwhile, Renault move up the table with another strong performance this weekend. Well, that was certainly an incredible weekend of racing. Be sure to join myself and Ant for more exciting Formula One action soon. Amazing performance out there. I'm sure you're pretty happy with that. You really cut your way through the field today. What was your strategy? Do you have any comments about the collisions? Well, thanks anyway.